Well, joining us now for more on this story is Sadana Ndume. He's a South Asia columnist at the Wall Street Journal and he's also a fellow at the American Enterprise Institute. He's live from Washington. Thank you very much for being with us on Al Jazeera. First of all, is this, decision, is this decision a done deal as far as you understand it? Will the suspects be freed? Uh, there's still some ambiguity. Um, apparently, the Chief Minister of Tamil Nadu has given, the, has given New Delhi three days to respond. And following that, she says they will, she will release these seven people. So there's still a certain amount of ambiguity there. Mm. There's been a great deal of sympathy for uh, the prisoners in Tamil Nadu state. Was this a, a political decision, in your opinion? It's entirely a political decision, and if I may say, a, a, a rather dangerous political decision. Um, after all, we're dealing not with just ordinary run-of-the-mill criminals, but people uh, who have been convicted of assassinating a former prime minister of India. And what the chief minister of the state is effectively doing is playing politics with a very, very serious issue, which has repercussions uh, that would go across the country. Mm. So a political decision, you say, how will it then impact on uh, the politics of the state in the lead up to the general elections due in India very soon? Well, the chief minister is hoping that, and, and she's probably rightly calculating that the seven people who are being released, that there's more sympathy for them uh, in her state than there is for uh, the late Rajiv Gandhi. Of course, in the nation as a whole, there'd be much more sympathy for Rajiv Gandhi, but she doesn't really care about that. All she's interested in are the 40 seats that her, that her party and its allies are likely to contest in May. And if she can win a large chunk of those 40 seats, she could well emerge as one of the major players in India's next parliament. Hmm. But what does this, uh, Sadhanan, say about the Indian legal system you know, that someone who's convicted for the assassination of a former prime minister can be set free. What does this say about India's justice system? I mean, the whole thing is a shambles if you think about it, right? I mean, why did this even happen in the first place? It's because the mercy plea of these three people who have been on death row has been languishing for 11 years where it hasn't been dealt with by four successive presidents. And that's a travesty. And so I can understand the, the Supreme Court's frustration. I can understand their desire to get things moving. You can't just have people hanging on and on and on on death row forever because the rest of the system doesn't get its act together. Um, but at the same time, uh, I think it's extremely irresponsible of the Chief Minister of Tamil Nadu to then take this opportunity to play politics with it by threatening to release, the, to release the, uh, these people along with four other convicts. Thank you very much for sharing your viewpoint with us. That's Sarnan Dume joining us there live from Washington, D.C. Thanks for your time.